This is Xavier Hacking for Interdops and HackingSAP.com. And in this video, I want to show you how you can work with multiple languages in SAC. And especially how can you translate a story like the one we see now on the screen into multiple languages. So my goal, for example, here is to have headers like this or a title or whatever text we have in the story. Uh, translate it into, for example, uh, Dutch or German or whatever language. So this is a feature in SAC that you have to enable. Otherwise, you won't have uh, the menu and the options to add an additional language. Um, so let's let's first do that. So for that, you have to go into the administration, and then in the system configuration, you can search for allow translation of user content. So if you enable this option, then we get a new menu item here on the left side called translation. So initially this will be completely empty, but uh, in a minute you'll see that we will list here the stories that we are going to translate. So let's go back to my sample story here and refresh this as well. So in the story details, I can also make this story uh, enabled for translation. So I can put on this check. I can save this. And now go back to my translation menu, refresh. And as you can see now, our demo story is, uh, is available here. So what's important here is that we have a source language. In this case, it's English. And this is the language uh, that the story was originally created in. Um, this corresponds with the profile setting. So in the profile settings, we see two lines that, that say something about a language. So first, the first one, that's the language of SEC itself. So for example, if I put this to, uh, to Dutch, Netherlands, and I save, then the SEC application itself will be translated. So instead of, instead of translation, it now says vertaling, which is Dutch for translation. So the whole menu is now translated. Let's go back to the profile settings. Because more important is the second one. So let's put this back to English. Because the second one determines which language is used to grab the data from a live data source plus which language is used for the content of the dashboards. So let's put that to, in this case, uh, let's say German, because I have a live VW system that for some reason only has an English and German installation. Deutsch. All right, save this. Okay, now I go into my demo store translation and I can click on edit. And this will list all custom fields that are in my, in my story. Here on top, I can select my target language. So in this case, it's Deutsch. Yeah, what I can do, for example, I can uh, pick something like this, table title, well, let's do something like this in German. Actually, you, you can put in whatever you want here. Uh, it's not necessary to copy it, but like this. 
you see in some cases it's also um, also copying or including the, the, the HTML tags. Oh, and this is the title of the story. Okay, so we now have a couple of samples here. Let's save this. All right. Let's go back to the story and now refresh this page. So we now see a couple of things. So we see some labels that have been changed. Uh, it now says table title in German. Also my story name has changed. Um, here my chart title in German, that's something that I just uh, adjusted. Uh, this, this page was called sample, it's now called uh, Probe. So that, that's all coming from whatever I did here in the uh, translation menu. You also see that there are some translations within the output of the data set. So this is coming over the live connection from my live BW source. So in BW, for this field called country, there are multiple languages activated, as you can see here in uh, the BW example. Um, so now because I, I put in German as the, as the language for, for the data, it, it's now using the, the German translations coming from BW. So I only made an, a sample for this, this country dimension. Um, you see, I, I didn't translate the name of the dimension. So that's why this is uh, still the technical name. Um, for a calendar year, I did have a translation. So that's now calendar year. And here on top, you also see uh, something like that. It says uh, calendar month, year. So that's also calendar year month. Um, to make that work, by the way, you have to make sure that in your connection, so in your SAC connection towards your source system, you have a default language selected as the user's preferred language. So instead you could also select a fixed language, but in that case, it would also always use the English tra uh, translation of your dimension members. So one final look at the story. So we see here on top, we have a row called totals. Um, that's because totals is something that SEC is providing. And we are still looking at the English version of SEC. So that's why we have here totals, while the rest of the table shows uh, the German values. So if I change this into German as well, Save. Then the story refreshes once more. And it now doesn't say totals, but uh, zoom in. And you'll see here that this was first in K euro and it's now in thousands, thousand and oil. Also notice that my edit mode is now disabled here. That's because I am not in the original language anymore, which that means I cannot make changes or save these changes. So I would have to go back to my original language, which is, which is English, to make additional changes here. So that's a really quick overview on how to use multiple languages in, in SEC stories. I hope it was helpful and see you next time. Bye guys.